Uh, hello, this is Jim. I uh, have gotten a lot of questions about the door that I've made behind me. This is the original wooden door, the first one. Uh, I've got a weird shed. I've got a door on both ends. So I built this one, then I've copied it on the other end using steel. It's, this is a wood construction, not steel construction. Uh, there are some other differences, so I'll show that as well. Um, the, it's going to be real bright outside, so the exposure is probably going to go off, but I'll just show you how this goes up and down, and also some of the differences in, in construction. This is the original one, remember, made of wood. A couple of latches. And it um, goes up really easy because it's got a counterweight over there. Uh, one of the main differences is where the other one is on the inside of this beam, this one rides on the outside of the beam. It's just a, a pulley or a, a wheel bearing, and it rides on some fairly robust angle iron. Uh, the hinges on this one are, because they're wood, I just use standard door hinges. These are uh, heavy duty, just so they could take the stress. Again, it's corrugated iron. There's no insulation here because this is South, South Australia, so it doesn't freeze. When you shut it, yep, excuse me a second. Made these little things here. I don't know if that's showing or not. But, uh, I'm going to the outside candle because it's got these little things that slide, little catch. Yes, I made the first hinge. Uh, actually, both hin hinges are made, but now I've got to mount them. And you can see what's happening here. That's the first one. I need to have that in place. Because it's, it's nice and level. And what I've got to do is run across there. And the other one will be on the uh, down a bit. Which is why these are offset. The other ones will have the pipes on top. And uh, later on, I'll have pipes coming off of here, come straight down onto the door. Right, well, there's the second hinge up. There's the first. I can put the level up here. It's just kind of hanging off the top there on that ridge. It's nice and even bubble. You can't really pick it here, but the hinge on the right is actually over about two inches further closer to the edge than the one on the left and that's just because that's where the they had to line up with the corrugations okay I was just doing some calculation I need to figure out how big the door panels are going to be the opening here of this door I'm not worried about width just height 2350 high to the top of the opening to that header right there but the hinges, they're at 2700 up here. That's 2700 to there. So the actual door, the bottom opening, is going to be 1350, which is half of 2700. The top of the door is only 960. And that's just the difference between uh, 2700, that's 1350. 1350 from 2310 leaves 960. And that's how you calculate it. And uh, that'll give you a good wedge. Basically, the hinges are way up high. I'll draw that diagram in a minute. But the wedge is actually real strong. When it, uh, when it comes all the way up, the door is fully supported. I'm just doing some uh, illustration of what I mean by wedge. This is a door looking at the side. Now, what I've done is this. 2700 millimeters is to the top hinge. The bottom hinge is at full height, 2310, and uh, then this hinge is just out here. Each, each of these panels, well, that, that's just two sides of that triangle. Now, the reason I put the hinge up here is if I had put it down here at the top of the door, 
which I see a lot of people on YouTube have done, your wedge is very necessarily very small to get headroom. But even doing it this way, your headroom is reduced. I'm guessing around 2,000 millimeter. So you're losing about a foot. That's about a 12 inches. And sub headroom. Plus, you put a lot of strain on the hinge here and a lot of strain on the bottom pulley that's going to be there, or the, the wheel. It's less stress this way. So if you've got the side of the building, you've got the room to play with, your roof is up here somewhere, it's better to use uh, your mechanical advantages to put that hinge up high. Better headroom, less strain. Right, well I've got this lower frame made. Embracing. It's just a very light frame. Most of the uh, rigidity will come from the corrugated iron. The upper frame has been made. It's got some little gussets on the corners. And that's really mainly for uh, just to help a little bit so it doesn't quite wobble as much. Um, flex. See the hinges I've got? All put together. Just little brackets you can buy from a store. Pretty much everything else is just uh, fence palings, like what's on the fence there. It's the same stuff. It's uh, 25 by 38 millimeter square tubing, light diameter. Brackets came from the same store. There's just some brackets that seem to fit the occasion. I've got it lined up here. I've got some hinges. So I'm going to put these two pieces together now. And then later on, I'll put on some track, so we're going to go along the beams. On the, uh, I'll show you that later when it's, I get them up. On the inside of these beams, I'm going to, or the posts, I'll have the wheels that will ride up in those tracks. The bottom edge will just ride up. Okay, I've got the tracks on. They're bolted to the post. There's a lot of stress up the top, so I've got more brackets up there to hold it. I'm just using these clamps to keep the door straight. There's the tracks. And here's the uh, wheel that I've got to fit. That wheel's got to have a bracket made to the bottom of this uh, part, bottom part of the door. And it looks like around 80 millimeter. That'll ride up in here. Right, there's no uh, counterweight yet. I put the counterweight hanging from the beams over there. But I'm just going to show you the latch and how the door works on the inside. You see the how the latches go in. Just, uh, drilled into the beams on the sides, just pins. And it's worked by this lever that I had to make up out of scrap. And the latches come out. And it's okay to then open the door. I want to close it, pull on the handle, and it's locked, latched again. The design is the same, the same size opening, um, and it's the same place for the, uh, the top hinges going to the same. The it's a little bit lighter though because they use steel for the most part. I've got a bit of wood here and a bit of wood on the bottom just for gap filling, but um, otherwise it's a lot lighter. It's got a different kind of a latch. It's just a handle you pull up. It opens itself a lot easier. I'll get rid of this uh, here so you can see the counter work. Counterweight, same kind of a bucket filled full of lead idea, and just another track so it doesn't twist. 
two cables, pulleys, straps. But see the difference here? That rides on the inside track. Across the top, rides on the inside of that track.